Hi everyone, welcome to my storyboarding tutorial. I'm going to share with you the process of creating a storyboard. This is my process. You may do it differently. This is what I found to be the easiest and fastest way to do it. If you're not sure what a storyboard is, you're welcome to check out my short documentary, How to Make an Animated Movie. There I explain why we need storyboards and what exactly are they. Now creating a storyboard is not that easy, uh, especially for me, I don't really draw very well. So it was always a bit hard for me to start storyboarding. I'm going to share a few tips with you that made my storyboarding look much better, despite my lack of drawing talent. Let's get started. So first of all, you, can, you might notice that I'm using some kind of template that I made for myself. I created six 16 by 9 squares, that's the HD ratio and I've placed them all in one big file. I think six is a good number. You might want to try four if that's easier for you, if you want to make them bigger. Um, this one works for me. So I have these six squares and I also have six smaller rectangles underneath each one of the squares to leave space for writing comments such as voiceover, dialogue, or just comments. Uh, let's look at the first page. We can see that the cube looks at the distance, then taking a steps. I'm using arrows to indicate motion and direction. Lands on its feet, taking another step. Now we've moved to the second shot, so I'm going to mark it here. I'm, I'm saying, I'm mentioning it's a long shot. Cube struggling to move forward. I wanted to show you this first page before we move on to the second page. Now the second page I'm going to actually create while recording it so you can see my method of working. Uh, I'm using a Wacom pen tablet. I find it much easier to use that than using the mouse. Now the main Photoshop function that I'm using that I think uh, you should all use is switching between the opacities of the brush. The easiest way to do that is by pressing the numbers on the numerical keyboard. 0 will put it on 100, 1 will put it on 10, 2 on 20, and so forth. If you want an exact number, you can just click on the numbers quickly. So if you want like 21%, you just press 2-1, 21%. Now the reason I'm using that function a lot is because I don't want my pictures to just be black and white. I don't want my drawings to just be a square standing somewhere. Say if my drawings were like that, it was really hard to, to differentiate. Where, where's the floor? Where's the ceiling? Like where where are we standing in relation to the picture? You see the cube is looking over there. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on, and without colors it's kind of hard to differentiate. Now you don't want to start coloring every page of your every square of your storyboard. So that's why these percentages kind of kick in. It's a lot faster and easier to change the opacity of your black color to kind of kind of paint your squares. And I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay, I'm going to delete that layer and create a new one. Uh, a nice way to stay in line is just use the magic wand brush, magic wand tool, to select your square and then move to the layer of, the, of your drawings. That way when you draw, you never step out of line. All right, so let's see. She, the cube took a step, then another one. Uh, then we see a long shot of her walking. Now my next, my next story story shot is gonna be the cube trying to catch its, its breath. So let's draw that. All right, now to color it, I'll just switch my percentage from 100 to 10. I start coloring. See, it already gives it a nice, nice dimension. 
We know exactly where the floor is and where the background is. I can do another layer by just keep drawing and it's going to make it darker since we're adding 10% over the existing 10%. Maybe make this side a little darker. I'm switching to 50% to kind of paint those little edges. And 10% again for the little drops of sweat. Now it's not enough just to draw, sometimes you need to write comments. So let's write cube catching its breath. And this is also shot number three. I'll write that. All right, our next square. In the next square, I want the ball to kind of go by the cube very fast. So let's draw, draw the ball. Maybe some smoke. The cube is going to be alarmed. and start drawing. All right, I'm going to take it from here. I hope this helped a little bit. In our next video, we're going to cover how to turn your storyboard into animatics. Thanks for watching.